if you think a bit vulnerable adults, well, we're all vulnerable when we come into hospital, but add to that somebody with a learning disability and you've got a massive vulnerability there. So we were looking to see how, how could we try and make it a bit interesting. And we came up with the idea of the tours. It's not rocket science, but we came up with that idea. And first of all, looking at showing people around A&E. Uh, it started quite small, really, with one or two people with a learning disability in the first instance. And it just grew and grew. I think the most amazing part for me, the most the beneficial part for me, has been how the staff have grasped it, really, and took to it. And, and they're running it. I don't have anything much to do with it anymore. I just make sure I'm here to make sure that people turn up. But the staff do it. The staff, the staff nurses in the department, x-rays staff, the housekeepers, you know, they, they want to do it, they're queuing up to do it, they want to be involved in it. Well, for us in X-Ray, makes it easier. It's breaking down barriers a lot of the time, makes it easier for people who I, um, haven't come across people with disabilities. Me personally, I've got a close family friend who's got uh, cerebral palsy, a few other learning difficulties, um, and he's epileptic, and we've got always got to think about things, and when he comes to places like this, he freaks out, realising everyone's still a person, and how to do, how to alter a change how we work normally for you for anyone else that would come in because we're not going to do things different we don't have to do different x-rays still going to do the same thing just make things easier and stop people from worrying as much i got involved when i first started they asked me would i show the people around and it does help because when we get um the vulnerable people in and I've come across them a couple of times. I can go and say they need to be seen right away, especially if they get distressed. And it helped. And even the parents have said it helped them and helped the parents as well. So what we decided to do is um, invite people with learning disabilities. I mean, it was a bit of a larger group today than what we've had in the past. But we take them round, just showing them coming in the door and where they're booking. Um, and obviously they can see the ambulances and we've told them that if they're really unwell they probably go to another area. But then we show them x-ray and one of the, the main area just in case they are quite unwell. And then should they need to come in we give them a little bit of um, a feel of the clinical decision ward at the back. So they can see should they need to come in they're not really too daunted then because they're sort of aware of where they need to go. Uh, we also go into minor injuries, so if they're just in with a dog bite or a twisted ankle, um, they can have a look in there. So again, they're quite familiar with it should they need to come in. And then we just finish with drinks and a, a certificate. Yeah, yeah. No questions? No. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You had lots of questions, didn't you, Lover? I think for us, I think if we, if we sort of look historically, over the last few years, there's been a lot of issues highlighted about health inequalities for people with disabilities. And I think for the Foundation Trust to take the time to set up a tour shows that they're recognising that there's a need to change that and address it. And I think it's really positive that the Trust is engaging in that process. This is the fourth tour that we've done so far. Um, and I think it's that about just um, ch challenge, ch breaking some of those barriers that might have existed but staff who perhaps hadn't that experience of disability and also the big thing obviously is for people with disabilities feel more comfortable looking around A&E department and being less, be, feel more reassured if they ever have to come in themselves. So it's a good step towards um, making sure that people get the same health care that everybody should get. Uh, I like coming here talking about hospitals because I've been in a hospital quite a few times. I think I feel more confident by speaking to the nurses and after I tell them what the problem is. Very interesting, yeah. Yeah. Helps me. I enjoyed it today. 
the fact then when we go back and have a brew at the end of it that the individuals who have been round the tour say how good it's been they're not as frightened of the x-ray for example anymore they're not as frightened of looking at what a, what, what happens when you have the blood taken anymore that that again is a result and 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 that's just what it was all about really and using it as a, a learning and a, and a training really to um break down the barriers that, that are obviously there because not everybody with a learning disability comes with a big badge on saying I've got a learning disability.